Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make my little tiny frog. Now, if you have two looms, that's fantastic. You're just going to join them together and uh, lay all your bands on, pop the crossover bands over and voila, uh, it's pretty much done. If you have a single loom, and this is how I'm going to do the tutorial, you need to lay it out like so. You'll have all your columns the same height, your bases are going to be what we move and you're going to need the back of your rainbow loom hook so that you can use their base removal tool. So the way we start up is having the two smaller bases just holding columns two and three and the bigger base is holding all three of them. All columns are going to be the same height and the arrow is going to be facing towards you. If you don't have an arrow, the open part of your peg is facing towards you. We're only going to need one colour, green, but we are going to need two pony beads. And I'm using the two black pony beads, not the mini pony beads, the larger ones. Okay, so we're going to start with our double banding. Double banding is you take two bands and you place them over the pegs as if they were one. So you place them together. And this is going to be a smaller ball and or sphere. It's only going to take six columns and we're only going to go down three. Like that. So it is considerably less time. Now in saying that, we have to put half his things on one and half on the other. So taking our pony bead, place it through your hook. Now lift one band off this side. You've got two bands there. You're going to just lift one and place the pony bead on it like so. Okay. Now we're going to put an arm here and a leg here. And we'll make those at the bottom of our loom. To make the arm, all we're going to do is place a pair here and another pair here and put an end cap and you're going to wrap it four times. So once, you're going to break it, <laughs> once and twice on your fingers, place it on the peg and then I use my hook because otherwise I cut the circulation off my fingers. Three. And ah, I'm going to place an end cap on this last peg here. Take your hook, wrap it once, twice and three times and then we're going to slide these bands onto our peg here. Oops, missed one, like that. Okay, I'm going to do this twice so we'll move up a little bit and do the next one up here once. One set and two set, take a single band, wrap it once, twice, three times and those are going to slide on here as an end cap like that. We will loom up the first one so go down behind your end cap and loop up and loop up and we'll take this one off our loom that one can just stay there until we're ready for it. And we're going to place this here on that peg there. Okay. We're going to do a leg. So taking a single band, stretch it into a figure eight, loop it on itself, and it's going to stretch across here. We're going to do the same. Take 
you have three of them there. Now we're going to do these three row, uh, columns here. So one, two, and three. We're going to do diagonals across here. One. Oops. Hey, come here. <laughs> and two. And we're going to put an end cap on here, a tight one. Take your hook, wrap it once, twice, three times. And then grab these bands. And we want to, if we can grab them, ah, slide them. <laughs> oh dear, I'm useless at end caps, aren't I? There we go. Slide them onto there like that. Now we're going to dig past the end cap and grab the, the green band underneath at the bottom and loom it up. Grab the diagonal and loom it diagonally. Go up and diagonal and up. And then these three get loomed to the centre. Like that. Now we're going to take a double band, slide that through this peg and attach it to that peg like this. Twist your hook so that the smooth side goes against those bands and not the jagged side so you don't get caught. Pull it to the back of that peg. Let's take this off the loom. And we'll stretch it out a bit. And now we're going to have another two bands. Put it on the end of your hook and slide these on like that. Now let's take another two and put our hook through, wrap it once and twice. Another two bands slide on. We're going to take our foot, the one we've just made here, and take the two closest to the end up and over and slip them onto that new set of bands. Then take this off. This is rather like how we do the shoes. Change sides and we'll turn this one over onto that and then we'll reclaim our bands like so. Now this is going to go on his leg here. Okay, just like that. We need end caps on all of these. So take a single band and wrap it three times around your fingers. Single band, wrap it three times. Single band, wrap it three times. <laughs> And we need crossover bands, which again is a single band, and we stretch it over these two column, these two rows, I should say. Gosh, like that. Okay. Now we're going to loom up column one and column two, not column three. Dig down past your end cap, grab the two bottom green bands, and we're looming up to the one above it. Push past the crossover band and grab the two bands and loom up and loom up. Same here. Now, what we're going to do is splay this out and poke the leg through so that it catches it like that. And then dig down and find those last two green bands and loom up and again we're going to splay it out so that the little arm gets caught there find the two bands and loom up we're ready to take this first column off our loom I'm going to use a holding hook poke it through and take this one off our loom like that then I can take this column off and it will become column number four 
we move it across to here. We're going to lay our bands. Now we're going to mirror image everything that happened just before. So it needs a cross it needs crossover bands, it needs an end cap. We need to do our crossover bands, so pull them across. And we need to do the other eye. So grab your other eye, take the single band off, slide the eye on, and replace. Now we're going to loom up this middle row column. Gosh. I don't know what is wrong with me. Well, I do, but it's we don't have time today to go into all of that, do we? We'll take this second column off. Now, be careful. You want the little arm and leg to poke through the top. So make sure that they're poking through. Like that. Turn your loom over. We're going to take the base off and squidge it up some. There we go, it's budged up. Take this column off and place it here. And let's do our bands. Oh, fumble fingers. end cap. Now if you remember our little arm down here needs to get loomed up and placed on this peg here. But first I'm going to pull my crossover band over. So pull my crossover bands over then I'm going to place this little arm like that. Now we have to make the other foot. So down the bottom here, single band, stretch it into a figure eight, loop it on itself. And then the diagonals. And an end cap. Remember, this is the one that we want to be tight. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. I did it first time. <laughs> that has to be a world record for me. <laughs> Dig down, grab those two bands and loom up the diagonals. Loom up the diagonals. Go down past those bands and find that one. Loom up. Loom up. Loom up and loom up. Now we get our double bands. Poke your hook through that middle, out through the end. Grab those bands and drag them through again, twisting your hook so that you don't get tangled. That was silly of me. There we go. Now we're not tying off, so we don't we don't loop them over each other. Pull them off the loom. Spread them out a bit. Even it up. Take two bands. Now we're going to do our two bands once and twice. Sliding them onto 
two bands. Like this. Take these two closest to the end of your hook, up and over, slid onto that set of bands, and then we'll take that off and swap places with the other end. Oops, I just had one. There we are. Now we're going to put these two over here like that and we'll reclaim our bands onto our hook like that and that's going to go here like that all right we're ready to loom up the middle hold that end cap so it doesn't go flying off there we go We'll take this one off the loom. Don't worry too much about the eye being the other side. It doesn't really matter. We can find it after. Grab your removal tool. We have one more column to do. Take that column off. Slot it into place. Double banding. And a little end cap here. Pull our crossover band over to incorporate those. That new column. Now we can loom up both of these because that's the end of our columns. Remember what I said about how we splay this out and capture that little foot? There we go, get over there. And the same with this one. Splay it out. Capture that little arm. And loom up. And the same here. Loom up, loom up, loom up. Now we're going to take this off the loom once, twice, and three times, making sure that the arms and legs are all facing the same way. And this is how he's going to look, a bit like a squashed frog actually, isn't he? <laughs> All right, we're going to get a single green band, place it here, and we're going to move all of these bands onto that, so keep it taut. If you relax it, that band's going to fall off. Okay, recapture, making sure that you're capturing it on the side where the arms and legs are not because you want them to be on the outside and you're going to take the one closest to you up, over and off and pull tight. Okay, so that loop we have to kind of hang on to. Now we're going to capture all the little end caps that we have here. So there's six of them. One, two, th ooh, more than just the ink up there, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to take another single band and I'm going to move those onto that. And again, we'll reclaim the end without letting it drop. <laughs> One closest to you, up, over and off. Now, 
we have a very tiny little tummy that we need to sew up. So what we're going to do is take a fine crochet hook. I use a fine one. If you don't have one, that's fine. <laughs> fine. Oh dear. <laughs> Push through a little bit of the tummy from the inside to the out. Grab that band that is our loop and we're gently just stitching up his insides. If you can see what I'm doing, moving your hook up as we go. Just grabbing a few bands, placing the hook, the band on the hook and dragging it through and working our way up to that top band. Like this. Now when we get here, we can put both of those bands on our same hook. Move the one closest to you up. over and off. Now you just have one band that we have to worry about. Now you can do a variety of things. You can clip this to an S clip and then tuck it inside so that the S clip is hidden inside his tummy or you could um, splay it out like this and pop it round his eyes. I personally think that putting it on a little S clip and hiding it inside his tummy will look a little bit better. So I'm going to grab an S clip and I'm going to pop one side on like that and then I'm just going to stuff, because there's a little hole there, this inside his mouth like that. You can't see it from the other end so these are his little arms and these are his legs. Now if you pull his legs out you've got these little joints here on his legs. Okay, so you can make him stand up like that. If you want to you can put, um, I used a silver sharpie um, tilt his eyes over so that they're sort of tilted and you can do the little silver slits on them like I did with this one. If you just want to leave them black it's completely up to you. But there is our little tree frog. Hope you enjoy making yours. Take care.